Hello, friends, and good day. This is Fred with Tech Talk, and I am coming at you today with a video on a VMS platform that you can download on your PC or Mac uh, to live view and playback footage from your NVR or DVR uh, on your PC. We talk a lot on this channel about Hikvision and DAWA. And there's good reason for that. They are the largest two manufacturers of surveillance equipment in the world. And their uh, CMS platforms, uh, which for Hikvision is IVMS 4200, uh, with DAWA, of course, we have the Smart PSS. Um, they account for a lot of the recorders on the market. But there is a third group in which those two uh, programs will not work. Okay, IVMS 4200 or the IVMS series of downloads and Smart PSS by DAWA. Um, these recorders, this third group of recorders will not work uh, with that software. There is a VMS program that is compatible with the XMEYE platform, okay? Uh, it's a simple download, we're gonna cover it right now. what do you say let's get into the meat and potatoes before we do you know the drill there is a subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen please click that and subscribe to our channel if you have not yet done so that way you'll be notified when we upload future content also like the video if it's useful to you and as always leave comments a lot of these videos including this one are from viewer questions and comments okay so yes to download this vms client view software Again, it operates with the XMEYE platform. That is the phone app that would work with these uh, recorders. Um, you are just going to head to XMEYE.org on your PC. Okay, you can see the link here. There's also a link in the description to this video that you can click on. Um, once you come to this page, you are going to select the appropriate download. Okay, you see XMI VMS software. There's a download for Windows and one for Mac. This is a Windows PC, so we're going to pick Windows here. Okay. You can download it directly to your PC um, or you can uh, download the program to the cloud. We're going to select this PC. And what will happen, it is going to download a executable file to your PC um, that will allow you to uh, install the software. So we'll let it do that. Um, Google Drive can't scan it for viruses. That's okay. We're going to download anyway. And as you can see, uh, the download is occurring. Once it's done, we'll be able to open that and install it. There we go. We're going to open the file. Yes. We speak English, so we're going to pick English here. You would obviously pick your appropriate language. And we're just going to hit next through the next series of prompts. And it will install this program onto our PC. All right. Perfect. There we go. Um, we can hit sign in. Uh, it's going to give you the default username and password. Okay, just make sure remember is clicked and hit apply or sign in, sorry. And it will bring you to the control interface. Obviously, the first time you use this client software, you are going to have no devices on file. Okay, so we're going to have to add a device. And to do this, we are going to have to get the serial number from the recorder. So let me show you how to get that. All right, so what you will have to find is your cloud ID, okay? We see it right here. It's this 1AB44 number. Um, what you're going to do is cut and paste that. Copy that, okay? You can do Control-C or right-click and hit Copy, or you can write it down. That is the number you're going to need along with the administrative username and password uh, to connect this recorder to the VMS XMEYE uh, client software. Okay, so we'll go ahead and copy and paste that. And we will log back into the VMS software. Once we're in here, we are going to go to Device Manager. Once we're in Device Manager, uh, we need to add our device. 
if your computer happens to be on the same network as the recorder, um, you can do a IPv4 search and it will search for uh, cloud IDs on your network. The recorder we are connecting to the software uh, is in a remote location. So we are not going to find that with a search. We're going to have to add it manually. Okay. So what we're just going to do, we're going to put test. Um, we're going to leave group alone at default. Login type is going to be by the cloud IP I, ID, I'm sorry, that we cut and pasted. And we'll go ahead and paste that. Okay. And then we're just going to hit the password. And once I hit OK, um, there is a protocol option. Okay. This is a XMEYE uh, recorder. Um, it's that third group that we talked about. But you can also pick ONVIF. Okay, but most of the time it is going to work with XM protocol. We're going to hit OK. And with any luck, it will connect. And there you see it has connected. Okay. And from here, this software is very much similar to Heck Vision and Dalla. It's got a home menu. It's got a live view and a playback button. Okay. Those are the two that we are primarily concerned about. If you hit live view, um, you can see actually this is a automotive shop. Um, you can click on the picture and it will come up for you. Okay. The encoding is fairly fluent with this program. Okay. Um, comparable to IBM S and, and Dawa Smart PSS. Obviously, for playback, you do the same thing. We'd go into home, uh, we'd hit playback, you'd pick your device. Um, and our camera, right? You could pick your day and time. And now we hit search. And it will queue up your alerts uh, for the day. There they are. Um, this recorder is set up by motion. Um, so motion events are going to be what triggers the recording. So if we pick one of those file here, we can play it. Whoa. That camera needs to be cleaned. That was pretty dirty. Uh, that's actually a good example for you guys. If you see this, uh, particular type of shot with a night vision camera, okay, at nighttime when it's dark. Uh, those spots you will not see during the day. You'll only see them when the IR illuminators come on at night. That's a dirty lens that just needs to be cleaned with a Clorox wipe, okay, uh, and that will look just, just like new at nighttime. So let's go and find something during the day. I'm doing is going next here. A lot of alerts because it's a parking lot, right? Pick one of these guys. And there's your motion. Um, and playback works just fine. Okay. So this is the client software again that you will want to use um, with uh, third party manufacturers from, from China. SUNY Vision, there's one BCSEE, um, there, there's a bunch of them, uh, but they all use the XMEYE phone app. And if you want a, uh, a PC-based client software, this is the one for you. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the field.